So I've been using my iPhone to shoot B-roll footage and some other things for a lot of these videos. And it is a nightmare to transfer stuff from your phone to a Windows PC. Today, we're going to be solving that. If this is your first time checking out a video on this channel, my name is Shayway and welcome to Shayway Tech, where I cover tons of stuff in the tech industry. If you think you may be interested in that kind of stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything else. All right, so without any further ado, we're going to be taking a video file that's roughly around 30 seconds long and transferring it to a Windows machine. Now, there's tons of ways to do this. Uh, some of them take longer than others. I'm going to show you the quickest way that I found available and quite possibly the, mo the, the most simple way to do it as well. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do a screen share on my iPhone. So we are going to just make a quick little video here. And I'm just going to record myself recording and uh, we'll go ahead for like a couple more seconds. Let's do like 10 to 20 seconds worth of footage. It's not really going to make that big of a difference, but I kind of want to show you that you can use pretty large files with this and it work very well. So the easiest way to do this is go ahead and hit the share button here. And we're going to scroll down to where you see the option to save to files. We're going to tap save to files. And what you want to do is you want to go to the on my iPhone section here and save in any folder that you have available that is an app. So if you don't have a folder available for an app, go ahead and download like Google Chrome or something like that and you'll instantly get one. So we're going to go ahead and use the Chrome folder here and click save. So it's already saved, super simple. The rest is going to take place on the computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to my PC and we'll start the process. So just to kind of give you an, an idea, there are ways that you can do this strictly by having the, the phone plugged in and actually going to the phone itself as, a, as almost like a USB drive. That's not the most efficient way though. And sometimes it disconnects in longer videos and can cause issues. So uh, you wanna download iTunes for Windows. Once you have it downloaded, you'll go ahead and boot that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this open. So now that we have the iTunes window open, what we wanna do is click the little phone icon. And so here it's gonna show you information about your phone. And what we're really gonna be working though is over on this left-hand side, okay? So there's a little button over here that says file sharing. You wanna tap that. And then you'll see all those apps that were available to save on your phone. So we're gonna go ahead and click Chrome because that's where I saved that, right? And we wanna sync this phone so it shows up the f video file there. So there's the video file that we just recorded. We wanna tap that video and click save. And I'm just going to create something on my desktop here just to kind of show you. So we'll call this uh, uh, folder test for video open up the folder and then we'll select the folder. So now that it's created, we'll go ahead and tap the file here and then go to save and then select folder. And then you'll see it saving here at the top. So once you see that saving here at the top, you know that it's successfully added to the folder. We'll go over here to the folder that I created, drag that over here and voila. So that is the file that I just transferred. So guys, you can do this with basically any type of file. I've been using it for photos and videos, of course, because that's what I make videos with as my phone a lot of the times for B-roll. So it's been super easy to transfer photos to my computer this way. If you use other ways, it can sometimes cause corruption or the phone can lock and it just takes forever to transfer. Unfortunately, there's no airdrop solution like there is on Mac, which to be honest with you, even on Mac, transferring larger files using AirDrop is significantly slower. So if you have a way to plug it in using a cable, that is going to be your best solution. I've got it plugged in to my PC and just running through iTunes. As you can see, it transferred that in a matter of seconds. I did a four to five minute video transfer file using this method and it took maybe 30 seconds. So highly recommend this. I hope this helped out somebody. And if it did and you did find this interesting, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I'm constantly coming out with new content. And if you would please take a second just to like the video that gets this video pushed out to other people that may find it interesting or helpful. So. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Like I said, I hope it helped you. And until next time, my name is Shayway, and we'll see you next time on Shayway Tech.